Hi, I'm DK Will, and this is DK Will Talk About It. I'm going to uh, do another video regarding the um, Iraqi dinar, and I'm going to touch on a few things that uh, some will think are conspiratorial. That's okay. And I'm going to hopefully uh, open the eyes and minds of some to shift their paradigm and at least consider the possibility that the way we have been taught to see things or convinced to see things may not necessarily be the way to see things. And so that being said, check the mic and make sure it sound right. I hope the mic does sound right. Let's do a little bit with some dinar recaps first, and we'll move along. This is going to be a one-take effort. If I make mistakes, you're just going to have to forgive me. I'm human. <clears throat> and so um, let's, let's get in it. This is from this morning, Saturday morning, 9-4. Wolverine. Never heard of Wolverine. I don't care. Here's the news. Things are going well. The main thing was September 1st. And with that comes a series of things that they kick off today. That's what everyone is looking at. Kick out some procedures tied to Nasara and procedures to bring out the notifications. The holiday is Monday. Between now and then, they are supposed to start kicking out everything. They are going to try to get things done on or before the weekend is over. We are waiting for the sovereign accounts. The main sovereign account is the Admiral. Beneficiary accounts, that's when the Tier 4 individuals go. We are supposedly the uh, tier four individuals. And as I go through some of these uh, recaps and guru comments, try to see where they all seem to connect and, and you know tie that in with what you do know um, besides what they say. Okay, so that's what today is supposed to kick off. If they get paid, you'll definitely get paid. These things are related and certain things keep the flow going. You'll notice the continuation dot, so we can't read the whole thought there. Europe and Asia, most of the monies are situated here. It must be Wolverine said here, so he's there. Tests of the individuals, mostly with military, and then ready for the individuals to go. Afghanistan, the good thing is the removal of the AF problem from war. The removal of our military from AF, that's what has allowed Nasara. When they kick off the 20 items related to Nazara, at this point, that's where the tier 5 walks in. That's the people who aren't paying attention, not a part of the internet group. And so uh, earlier in one of my other uh, videos, I mentioned about the Afghanistan situation, that it might not be what we think it is. And there are some conditions required around the Nasara and the Gasara mentalities that have to be done. And I'll offer some ways of seeing it or thinking about it as we go, I hope. And you'll see that maybe it's not what you see on the surface. And maybe the Taliban was not the bad guys. Uh, I did say that in a prior video. I'll try to put the card in. Forwarded from Wolverine. Latest RV news. Okay, my fellow RV family, we are just hours away to launch the biggest transfer of wealth never seen before in the history of the world. Now, I will say that things are developing also in the cryptocurrency front where there's looks like we're getting ready to head into a um, bull market, a super bull market, which would be another way of transferring wealth. And, and that's why I say, you know, try to put the things that you know together with the things that you hear and the things that you see and, and see how they all maybe interconnect. As of Monday, D1 and the rest, Dubai 1, will be released by next Monday. The banks will be opening redemption centers for the 4B group which likely will be on Tuesday, but most likely there is a possibility it will be on Monday. Fingers crossed. Okay, a touch on redemption centers, which I've said before, and I'll say again. A lot of people are hesitant about redemption centers, but maybe it's our perception of what a redemption center is. Redemption centers do not necessarily, and I've said this on an interview on another site, and I'm saying it here on my site, Redemption centers and banks are not necessarily exclusive of one another. You can have a redemption center in a bank. That's almost a quote what I said. And this person is saying the banks will be opening redemption centers. So it requires an open mind, folks. This has never happened before. The payments on the SKRs are pre-launch bonds that need to be paid out first as they 
are traded to raise more money for 4B. The pre-launch bonds are the German bonds, Yellow Dragon bonds, and Zimbabwe Argo checks, agro checks. These will be launched by today in the hour now. Keep praying and have faith, my fellow RV family. As soon as I hear that it has started, I will let you all know. God bless the Wolverine. We've got the X-Men working for us, y'all. <laughs> this is Pimpy. <coughs> Excuse me. If Kuwait dollar is the most valuable currency and you see how much more stronger Iraq is, what in God's green earth makes you think that Iraq has not potential to not only catch but pass up Kuwait? Logical. We know that they, Iraq, have all kinds of problems with the government and corruption. We get that. But here's what those naysayers say. Unstable government, corrupt government. But what they never tell you is, what if? What if the government is fine? We know al Qazimi is kicking, but right now, the corruption is down. What if the government becomes stable? Please look at my video, Real Eyes, Real Eyes real lies folks don't let the media tell you what to believe that's the best way i can say it i'm not going to mince words if you want to believe a media that has already shown itself to be liars that is called gullibility and just because you hear it doesn't make it so and that's why you have to look and one of my uh, favorite phrases is if it doesn't make sense it doesn't make dollars and cents if it doesn't make sense it doesn't make dollars and cents and in this instance, if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make any sense. It's worthless. And a lot of things don't make sense. Frank says it's impossible when they float their currency. They may only give you a few months, six months, a year to exchange the three zero notes until they're null and void. Ah, man, that sounds like fear. Let's pretend they give you three months. That means you will not be able to make part to take part in the rate when it grows internationally because it's going to take time for the rate to grow. If they give you a specific amount of time to cash in your three zero notes, you're not going to have enough time for the Iraqi dinar to go up in value. And in the note, Frank believes it will start one to one and rise from there. Okay, so here's, here's, here's reality. Reality is a float nullifies a gold back currency. So either the bad guys win and they continue the debt slave based system and they float the currency and they continue to play games with their fiat money or money actually becomes sound money and it's backed by gold and assets and economies and infrastructure and intellectual property and all that to what a country's actually worth. And this, what he's saying, doesn't doesn't matter. Um, I say consider the options and just remember we are in a war. And they're trying to keep it under wraps as best they can. It continues to leak to the surface. But we're in a war. World War III is here. Um, on that, I recommend you watch my video. World War III. XRP is the bomb. Let's keep going. Mark Z in Texas Snake. <laughs> uh, he says, I have a special guest tonight. Texas Texas Snake has some news to share. Welcome, Texas Snake. It's all yours. Texas Snake says, I had received something earlier today from a banker that I thought was quite positive. I shared this in another room, and they suggested I get on and share it with all of you. Word is starting to filter down from higher posts that notifications are becoming more expected to be seen over this weekend, with the hopes exchange appointments will begin Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. The bond releases are expected 12 to 24 hours before we are allowed to begin, so everything seems to be channeling to next Monday or Tuesday, with us to follow shortly after the bonds begin redeeming. That is the latest I am hearing. Texas Snake continues. Then Isaac posted in his room that his paymasters, his paymaster was probably going to be in the banks on Tuesday because Zurich banks are not open on Mondays. So my guess now is that they go on Tuesday. We may go on Wednesday or at the latest, maybe Thursday of next week. The guy that shared this with me says it's from sources higher up than his position and he was quite positive about this news. Don't sell the house, but it's all still good news. But don't forget misdirection is necessary. And if you watch my video, you'll see the art of war is incorporated into it. And sometimes in the art of war, you have to make somebody believe you're weak when you're strong and believe you're strong when you're weak. Believe you're near when you're far and believe you're far when you're near. Um, check it out. 
Mark Z says, I'm exceptionally encouraged, and what I did not share with you when we spoke moments ago is a number of bond folks here domestically have anywhere from 1% to 10% in their pockets, and they are expecting their balance on Tuesday. Here we are. We're seeing a little consistency in what everybody's saying. And Mark Z, I don't know him, but what I do know is whenever I've checked out the things that he might be saying, he's very conservative about committing to something. So in my mind, for him to say a number of bond folks here domestically have anywhere from 1% to 10% in their pockets, I lean towards the man actually believes what he is saying and has been informed of such. He says, I've never seen this much movement. The last couple of days have been a whirlwind. I'm pretty excited and think we are that close. I think your timing is probably accurate at this point. Texas Snake says, I want to tell as many folks as I could. And your call is a way to get that information out to the public. And this channel is another way to get this information out to the public. And my good friends, subscribers, visitors, please subscribe. I hope you like it. And I hope you appreciate what we're doing here because... Um, this is an awesome event, and this is going to be a long video, I can tell, but let's keep going. Thank you, Texas Snake, for sharing this news. Thank you, sir. He says, I'm looking for more positive news over the weekend. I will come back on Sunday about noon. Have a good weekend. Let's go to Bruce. Now, people have said hateful things about Bruce. I don't know Bruce, but I have said on one video, and I'll say it on again, especially having worked in banks and having been involved in the crypto sphere now for multiple years, Bruce one time spoke on the Interledger um, blockchain technology and the man didn't even know what he was talking about. He said he didn't know what he was talking about, but the information that he said he received about it, which he passed on to us that he didn't even understand, he, according to him, was accurate. And that's all I need to know. Now, I expect there to be misinformation, just like I expect there to be information, and we all need to see how well we can sift through what makes sense. So let's see some of the things that Bruce said on Thursday. He says here, we've been told by a couple of sources we could look for this morning. Didn't happen. They were testing the USN and it was more not so much testing, I think, as it was activation of the USN, which is the new US note with the QFS, quantum financial system. So it ends up. They did get the U.S. in on the screen shortly after 2 p.m., according to one of our bank sources, and another bank source indicated that SKRs, these are people that have reached an agreement either from currency or some other activity like bonds and so on, those started paying out at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time this afternoon. SKRs are uh, safekeeping receipts. I worked at a bank, and we would give people safekeeping receipts for uh, like certificates of deposit because... Back in the day, which I remember having CDs myself, they literally handed you a certificate of deposit that you held on to and you came back and presented it to the bank. Nowadays, they will give you a safekeeping, re safekeeping receipt indicating that you own the um, certificate of deposit, but you don't necessarily have to guard and put in a safe and, and prevent from ruin your certificate that um, you redeem when your certificate of deposit matures. And that's a safe keeping receipt. Moving on. We have the USN. We have asset backed currency representing the United States of America, a crucial part of Nasara, and another crucial part for Gasara was the evacuation of US troops from Afghanistan. That allowed Afghanistan, their currency, also with the Iranian real, to be both put on the screen last night and they should have shown up this morning. Okay, that, now we're back to where I said earlier, you know, everyone, if you follow the media, they're going to tell you what to think about Taliban and they're going to tell you what to think about the war in Afghanistan and they're going to tell you what to think about the withdrawal and they're going to tell you a lot of things to think about it. And that's the problem. They're going to tell you what to think. I don't let that happen. And as anyone who can check my past videos, I thought maybe this Taliban thing is not all that it seems. And I don't think it is all that it seems. And they mentioned it's a crucial part of Nasara and Gasara. Is it? Well, how about this? You see this? What is Gasara? Let's go down here. It forces the U.S. military to immediately remove troops from all sovereign nations who no longer willingly accept them to reside on their soil. That includes Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, and the Philippines. Okay, when was this written? 
in October of 2016. This is 2021, five years later, folks. So is there a potential that some of these things here are accurate and true? Yes. Yes. Keep in mind, it's all conspiracy theory until it's true. Returning. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, I've been having a lot of discussions with my brothers. My mother is aged and she's uh, suffering significantly from dementia. We're dealing with uh, finding a place for her to live and the emotional upheaval and turmoil that goes along with that myself and my three brothers so bear with me on that um, so if I ramble or something I might have thought about something around that and I'll get back on track okay I'm back on track all right we have a three-day weekend Labor Day is coming on Monday tomorrow is Friday so it is conceivable that we will be notified tomorrow well tomorrow is Friday and today is Saturday I haven't been notified but that's okay. We don't have it absolutely, but we believe it's very possible. Tier 4 will get notification. And, and if we do, here's the big $100 trillion question. Do we start our exchanges and redemption of them as early as tomorrow, Friday or Saturday? Okay, I can't uh, read all of this. I'm going to scroll down and look for some more. Keep in mind, I told you this is a one-take item. It's going to be a long video. You can pause and return. I hope you watch the whole thing. You might miss something if you don't. Please like and subscribe, and I love you. All right, moving on. All right. Here's a reality, folks. Special drawing rights are a reality. And the fact that they distributed them on the 23rd is a reality. Now that's not safekeeping receipts, that's special drawing rights. But the point I'm making is there's a lot of things going on that we are being given an explanation for why they're going on. In this case, the impact of the dreaded COVID-19 crisis. Um, we're given all kinds of reasons why they're happening, but they're happening. And this revolves around money. It says the allocation will benefit and address the long-term global need for reserves, build confidence, and foster the resilience and stability of the global economy. What if, just like the Taliban situation is not the way they described it, what if this special drawing rights allocation is not the way they describe it either? What if it's more a way of one side or the other funding these requirements of Nasara and Gasara, but telling us a whole nother story? The point in the reality is money is moving. And so let's not close our minds to the potential and the possibility that some of the things that we see, if we step back and don't let ourselves be a part of the sheeple, let me make it sure being a sheep to God and Christ is good. Being a sheeple is not good. Okay. But if we don't want to be a sheeple and we want to step back and look at things without the influence of the narratives, we might see things a little more clearly. And so this is the uh, update so far I'm going to be able to give on the dinar um, recaps. I did have some uh, other information that I wanted to share. I uh, don't remember exactly where it was, but let's go here and get rid of that subscription notice um yeah i do want to go here and i think the reason i want to go here as far as we know that you know iraq was part of uh, buna or bana the arab monetary fund all these things are pointing towards real deal um national sovereignty when it comes to iraq and their money but that's not really the purpose for my wanting to uh, look at this um, I do want to highlight here, it says that Buna is moving forward with this launches cross-border multi-currency instant payment service. Well, instant payment service does not belong to SWIFT, but I know someone who instant payment service does belong to, and that's Ripple, XRP, and the XRP ledger, and the on-demand liquidity, and the Enter Ledger protocol, and the ISO 20022, all of which are some were littered in some of the videos I've put out before. And here, 
Let's see here. I think that's going to do it here. These things, if I show it on the screen, it's going to have its link in the description because I don't want anyone to accuse me of stealing their material or not giving proper credit. I just hope that if anybody watches my videos and takes a thought and runs with it, that they uh, do the same thing and recognize where they got it from. But in any case, what we can see is a lot of financial upheaval going on. We can see that this SDR, Special Drawing Rights, is a way of funding uh, money. We already had a video about the reset, the global currency reset, and the great reset. And all of the videos that I've done, like I mentioned in one of them, you know, they're designed, they're progressive in nature. So I encourage you to go backwards and move forward, and then it will help you better understand where I'm coming from. But this Nasara Gasara thing, you know, it's a conspiracy until it's true. Restore constitutional law in the Republic of the United States. Is that happening? Yeah. And I think that uh, Biden's a scapegoat right now. And behind the scenes, the real uh, chief executive is continuing to work. And the military is in control like they should be. And I think that this is actually going on. But you, so these are specific items. Expect dozens more. Now, these, of course, are hovering around the United States. But let's think about the narrative. How about number three, for instance, forces the USA incorporated. Anybody who didn't know that the U.S. was incorporated, now you know. All the reason of the need to restore the republic because it became a business. And what better person to put in control of a business that's bankrupting than a man who's had a specialty in bankruptcy who was Donald Trump? You know, it's all a farce if you if you look under the carpet and see who the real Wizard of Oz is instead of the narrative that the lying media tells you, you begin to see more clearly. But it says that they all have to be removed. The USA incorporates president, vice president, cabinet members, and all members of Congress. You think maybe that's the reason they're making Trump look, or not Trump, the other guy, Biden look inadequate? Um, there's all kinds of things that could happen. But maybe, maybe the previous administration came in to make sure this happens because we know the administrations that preceded him prevented it from happening. And they went through great measures to prevent it from happening up until September 9-11, 2001. Okay, so let's, let's be real here. Don't believe everything you see in here. Okay, let me find here. We saw that. Here's a nice one worth looking for or two. A jubilee. Zeroing out credit card balances and bank debt relief worldwide. Why? Well, because they never had the money in the first place. It was fiat money. It was raised out of thin air. They were loaning you money that they didn't even have and putting you in debt. You were and you are until something changes a debt slave. That's what you are. That's what we all are if we work for our money. If you work for your money, you're a debt slave. If you don't work for your money and you come up with passive income, you're actually just inheriting a debt instrument. So we're looking forward to sound money. And maybe that's why 11 makes sense. It activates the Republic's Treasury Bank and Republic Treasury along with gold-backed USN currency printed and overseen by the Republic of the United States and not the Federal Reserve. Another video shows you who owns all the Federal Reserves and central banks out there. Check it out. I don't remember which video it is. It's one of them, but it's this people right here. These are the ones that own all of them. Okay? So when we see the gold-backed USN... Well, what the heck? Didn't somebody talk about that over here? He's calling it the USTN, and I know that he likes to call it the USTN. I'm rambling now. That's all I got, folks. That's your update. Sorry for the spiel, if you didn't like the spiel. But I do encourage you, open your mind to the possibility that to bring in the new, you have to get rid of the old. I'm DK Will. This is DK Will. Talk about it. Have a wonderful day.